paste table nearby. I've got four tables there, which are sort of the average design of paste table. Um, I'm going to look at how practical and how durable. With this uh, basic one, which will be a cheaper, more DIY style of bench. So, easy enough to open up. Two legs. So that is the cheaper bench. You see how it sags in the centre, not supported. So when you're using your paste, paper paste in the paper, then you will need to control your paper. You'll need to stop it sliding around. So you're applying pressure and then pasting your paper. These things soon give up in the middle. What you may find is the screws from the wood here start to split. These hinges are very weak as well. There's just no support in it. A closer look. You can see where this hardboard is just stapled. The, the staples can be very weak, like on this side, it pulled out, so really that would need gluing, but generally, overall, durability, it's not going to last very long, probably wouldn't last 12 months if you're using that two or three times a month. So that's the cheaper option. Drop the bench. It's as easy as that. No fuss really. Again, it's something that wouldn't stand the test of time, but if you're only doing a little bit, then yeah. Well, next up is this Versatable um, everyday outdoor table. Plastic. Um, yeah, for barbecues, camping, but I don't think I would use it as a papering table, a paste table. So. Plastic clips. And this one has to be laid down. So I'll paddle quickly. This is the small plastic catch. So it doesn't matter which end you open it, but I would give it a press. Uh, open. I want to say it doesn't matter which end because you're able to remove this. So I'll just leave it there for now. You can see how these legs are stored in this table. Six of them sat here. But two are held in place by the other four which are locked into place here. So basically, turn each one so it lines up. And then you're able to lift these legs out, which is a bit of a mall, but line them up and then just draw them out. And then the one next to it will just lift out. 
opened up on the floor and just give these a turn. I'm going to take them out and put them in as I go along. So first one. In. And they just slot in. So they're quite tight. That's the first one in yet. But already I'm thinking that as each leg goes in, you're going to have to make sure that they're set in at the correct height. Otherwise the table will start to move a bit. So already I'm thinking with this one, if I was to be putting this up to do a job, to have them papering the ceiling and it's been emulsioned and the walls have been papered, then I would have to mess around putting this up, get the paper on the ceiling, drop the bench out of the way, emulsion the ceiling and then I'd be carrying on doing other jobs and then putting my paper on. This looks like a mall already. So, last leg in. So again, we'll have a look. That's it. Bit, bit like jelly, a bit wackery. There's no strength in the legs really. But what you will notice with these, they have a very rounded edge. So it may interfere when you're pasting the paper. So here with the corner, very rounded these rounded edges so to get your paper to sit so you're not getting paste on your table you would have to bring it out a little bit which generally you would on all benches but like I say these are curved so you might end up with misses on some of your paper on some of the edges of the paper oh, and also with this joint on the table they're not very flush so you get some snagging points there that's quite a bad one at this end and coming back the other way snags there which could damage your paper Also, where the handles are, the carrying handle for this table is, see it's just a hole in your bench, so again, and that sits there when you paste it. Might be okay for static weight, but to be using it when you're pasting and moving around, I don't think so. So, now the fun begins. So, these aren't just going to lift out, you'll have to put your foot on it and drill them out.
really couldn't be bothered with this one. Think as an outdoor table, yeah. If you've not a lot of room in your house and you need to store an outdoor table, or you're going camping and you want a, a large picnic table, then yeah, that's okay. But I wouldn't bother with it as a pace bench. The third one. And out of all four, I can say now that this is possibly the best bench you could get. So, bend, open. That really is as big as that. And this time, it's made of a ply board the surface so it's a lot stronger than the fiber board over there and then instead of staples these are actually nailed stronger table I'm able to store what I need under the table saving room Legs also braced, extra strength. Now, corners, nice square corners, square edges. Granted, this is looking a bit um, in a sorry state, but this is about 10 years old, this bench. Um, it's gone through a lot, but it's still working. It still does as I want it to do. It's not falling apart on me. It's really quick to put up. We've done spraying and all sorts of painting on it. So if I'm lining or putting a paper on that's being emulsioned, I'll just work with the bench. But if I was putting a really neat finished paper on expensive paper, this would get covered with lining paper. So then it's a new bench all over again. Like I say, it's about 10 years old this. It's a really straightforward, easy, quick to put away. That's it. Best bench you can have. Number one. And with this one, this is um, this is the more expensive one. Um, possibly over engineered, um, less practical, and just awkward basically. So Nut and bolt here. If you had something like this, you'd probably be better replacing that with a cotter pin. Well, there goes the nut. I'm going to fish that. 
sat back. Found it. So yeah, either cut a pin or get a wing nut for this. So, you may think good strong table, but it's not too bad. Does a bit of that. There's no support directly underneath the uh, end of the table. They are quite a sturdy table, these, but then they do have the pitfalls. Like I say, there's no support directly underneath the end of that table, so they can tip up. Also, because this is hardboard with a laminated surface like a vinyl surface see the hardboard underneath there they've added so it doesn't damage the board aluminium strip around the table plastic corner pieces this board sits in a channel this strip which is effectively the frame of the table adding thickness to the table well, this aluminium strip that sits around the table isn't flush to the board it's proud so when you're working your paper and you're moving around and you move your paper up the table, if you catch the edge of that, it can damage the end of the paper. It's the most annoying thing when you're trying to work and you're having to deal with that. Also, this handle that sits here on the table you notice how it's as wide as that strip and when that sits back that's proud as well so this sits just proud above the aluminium and then you've got the aluminium above the table if it's a thin paper then it will go underneath that edge and it will probably damage your paper. With this bench also, it's not very practical. When I'm working in a room, I do like to have some of my equipment underneath my bench. So it's just easy accessible, screwdrivers and going into my paper hanging kit. With water, especially paste. Paste, I like to have on the inside of the leg so when I'm working away, I'm taking a dip from this end of the bench and as I'm taking a dip, I'm able to look across the table at the paper, checking for any misses on the paste. But with this being here, you have to work around this leg off the end of the table. Maybe it's just me. Quite durable. Quite strong, but again, it's not very practical. But with all these edges sticking up, I mean, we're not just talking about the, the ends, it's here as well. So it's just a constant headache when you're trying to paste, moving your paper around. And also, not able to store anything underneath the table easily. Also, this is just, I don't like it. Maybe again, maybe it's just me. So, we see how this goes down. So, straight away, that 
support, that central bar, is dropped away and is out of my reach. So I'm going to have to come round this side of the table and then undo the nut and bolt. Which again, you could probably replace with a cotter pin, which might be a little bit quicker, and then slot it into its plastic holder. Pop the nut on the end. Okay. So then, take the table out these plastic clips on the end. away. Make sure that this piece doesn't sit here because the table won't close. Fold it round the back. Sit it in. And that's it. So by far the better bench easier to put up. I mean that is up quicker and I've undone that nut and put it back. So I hope that helps. I hope it gives you a bit of heads up knowledge um, when you're deciding to go and get your bench. Just don't get anything that's too cheap or too silly.